In this video, we are going to discuss about the decision making statements in Python. But before starting decision making, we must know about indentation in Python. That what do we mean by indentation? So indentation is nothing but a very important practice to do while we are writing the decision making code in Python. And if you want to run your program without any error, then you must do the indentation. Otherwise, you will get indentation error when you run the program. The best way to give the indentation after any colon, you can press the enter key or either you can give some space by pressing the space key or you can give the, you know, separate space for after pressing the tab key. In some platforms of Python like Jupyter, Google Collab, etc., it gives indentation on its own only. Indentation, for more clarification, you can see that what I am trying to say is that, for example, if you are given a particular statement which you have executed here, now here you are giving the if condition. Next, after pressing the colon, you must press enter, then it should start from here, not from here. Otherwise, you will get the indentation error of Python. Then you can give you after the if condition if there is any other if condition also, like this. And then here you can give the statement which if true has to be executed. Similarly, the else will be here and the statement will be here if the else condition is true and then the final statement will be here. If you write the code in this particular format, then you will get no error of indentation. Your program will run. So indentation is must while we are discussing or while we are implementing any decision making statement. Now in Python, decision making statements are usually when it supports condition from mathematics that is simple mathematics condition decision making statements in python that is if a equals to equals to b this condition means that the a and b if any value is in store then both the values are equal so this is the particular condition a not equals to b that if a is not equal to b now these all conditions we all know that if a is greater than b a is smaller than b a is greater than equals to b a is less than equals to b these are the conditions and their respective descriptions which i have just now said now in python we have decision making statements and those following statements are if else elif statement and lastly nested if These are the three decision making statements which are there in Python and now we are going to discuss about one by one and execute a program of each. So the very first decision making statement which we have in Python is if else and we have discussed about if else in other programming languages also it is quite similar here too that if conditions passed in the if statement are true that is if if statement conditions are set to be true then those set of statements which are under if will be executed or the else statements will get executed if the statement turns to be false then the false or you know else part of the particular decision making statement will execute so simply it will start it will check for the if condition if that condition turns out to be true it will execute the body which is there in the if and then it will execute the statement which is just under if and simply it will end and if the statement after checking it turns out to be false instead of true then it will execute whatever there is in the else block those statements will be executed and then it will end simply it will be done now how can we write that particular if else program in python how can we do that for example we are writing if the expression we, which we want to write then the statement which we want to execute and if there is else lastly the statement which is going to be executed in the else now next which we have in the decision making is the second statement which we have is elif now what is this elif now the syntax basically for elif is firstly it is going to check for the if that if if expression it is going to check if that expression is true it will execute a set of statement 
else we are going to write it is doesn't have else if statement that's why in python we use elif elif again you can give any particular expression and check for that statement you can give multiple elif expressions too for checking according to your programming conception according to your program concept and lastly you can execute the else statement similarly the next we have nested if and in nested if you can execute multiple if statement but in separate blocks along with the elif and else you can also include for example if you have in executed this particular if statement and have executed an expression and here you've been given the statement which needs to be executed if this particular expression is true if it turns out to be true or else you can check for inside that particular if you can mention another expression for checking off that particular value which turns out to be true and execute that particular statement so this is actually known as nesting and also known as nested if similarly you can execute the elif statement and lastly the else statement of both the if to close the particular decision making statement now we will execute an example of each now here you can see that i have written a program for comparison between two numbers that which one is greater and i have used the input which we have discussed to take input from the user i am entering firstly the first number from user and similarly the second number then i am checking with the help of if else if a is greater than b then print that particular number a is greater or else print that b is greater this is it going to print and this is actually the indentation which we talk about that indentation is must otherwise we will get an indentation error as i execute this particular cell it is going to ask me firstly to enter the first number so let me enter the first number as 12 next it is asking me to enter the second number that i am entering as 22 so it is after executing after execution it prints that 22 is greater this is how it gets print now if i write this particular statements like this in if and else and execute this particular cell then you can see here indentation error occurs so indentation is must in python so what we have to do is we have to just give a space and in this line also and now you execute this particular code it won't give you any error so that's why i said that indentation is must while you are executing a python program next this is a particular which we have executed for if else decision making now if i want to use for elif so let us do and just give a condition here only that after this here only if i want to give elif a is equals to equals to b if such a condition arises that both the numbers turns out to be same then what will be done so then in the print statement you can give that a is a and b are same numbers if such a condition occurs then it is going to display that a and b are same numbers this is the condition which we have given now i will execute this particular cell again so it is asking me for the first number i am entering as 15 and the second number let us enter 15 so that let's see elif block executes or not so here you can see it prints that a and b are same numbers next if you want to do the nesting then for nesting condition we will execute a separate program let's see how can we do that firstly what i'm going to do i'm going to take the input from the user and store that particular in x variable so here you can see that i've taken the input from the user in integer type value and input and it for what it is going to print in the console that value of x is this it is going to print next i'm executing a if statement and the condition which i am giving is that if x is greater than 50 then it is going to print that the value is greater than 50 whatever the value you have entered so it is going to print that the value is this is it going to print next if i want to do the nested if then i have to execute a if statement within this particular block only so we give the condition that if x is greater than the value which is entered is greater than 100 also then it is going to print that
the value is greater than 100. So this is how nesting I have done of both the if statement. Lastly, I'm going to print the else statement to close this particular blocks of each. So let us print the else statement. Else, if this particular is not greater than 100, then it is obviously less than 100. So let us do that in print that the value is less than 100. This particular first if block in nesting, this is completed. That it is having an if and else for execution too. Next, I am going to close the last first if block which we included with the help of else. And how can we do that? Like here, else it is going to print that. The value is less than 50. So this is a set of code for nested if. Now let us execute this particular block. And as I execute this particular block, it asks me for the value of x. So I am giving the value of x as, let's say, let's give the value of x as 23. So it is going to print that the value is less than 50. Why? Because it had checked here only. It doesn't go inside that loop because the value is already less than 50. So it executes the else statement. If I execute this cell again, and give the particular value as 65, then the value is greater than 50 and the value is less than 100 it prints. How? Firstly, it enters this if block and checks, yes, 65 is greater than 50. So it is going to print that the value is greater than 50. Next, it goes inside this particular if block and checks that x, that means 65, is it greater than 100? No, it automatically executes the else block and exits from the loop. So this is how decision making is done in Python with the help of if else, elif and nested if statement.